Notification squad, welcome back. What's going on, people? I want to give a few people, I'm going to give uh, about 30 seconds for folks to get online. But I wanted to talk about something that uh, it doesn't, doesn't get a lot of discussion. If you notice online on YouTube, many of the fashion channels, men's style channels, such and so forth, they'll just put up a video about about the product, the end result, the shirt, the shoe, the hat, the whatever. But a lot, but you rarely, if ever, hear anybody speaking about why it's important, why you should care, why a guy should, why it matters. So what ends up happening is unless you're already into it or unless you are willing or at a place and point in life where you're looking for answers a lot of times it goes over a lot of people's head and it doesn't matter whether it's regarding you know fragrances watches anything else a lot of times guys we just look at stuff and be like man i don't mess with that i don't get down with that uh, okay but I want to tell you guys one thing in particular it doesn't matter what color you are it doesn't matter how old you are how much money you have your image your reputation your personal brand is a tool it is not disposable you know we as men we got to understand something I can go into the numbers and get real granular and talk about women buy most men's clothes. A lot of guys, we don't understand that what you put on communicates to the world. We just look at it as clothes. And a lot of us are like, I ain't spending no money on no clothes. I'm not going to blow my money on no clothes. I'm not going to waste my money on no clothes. Why do I need to spend money on something that I'm going to throw away? All these other things, not realizing that, look, you know how it works. When someone is looking like they belong in that part or whatever role, you know, it's been said over and over and over again. Guys, your image is important. If you don't care about it, if you're just getting by, then you don't get upset if you're not getting the outcomes you want. And a lot of times, guys don't want to hear that truth. We just don't. You know, if I come on here talking about, you know, female nature, such and so forth, and if I would start bashing women or talking about, talking noise, oh man, the likes and the, everything would go through the, through the roof. But when you start talking to men saying, guys, you know, cheap is some of the most expensive stuff out there. You gotta do better with your image. You need to get in the gym or start working out. You know, check out your nutrition, drink more water, think about what you're wearing, Put a little thought into it and stop acting like clothes and your image is just this disposable thing that no one's supposed to care about or that you're special and the rules don't apply to you guys a lot of guys don't want to hear that because it goes counter to what they believe and you know they'll get in the comment section asking questions when they're really not looking for answers i'm making this video for the guys who are looking for answers look Bottom line, whether you believe it or not, your image is crucial. It's important. And if you don't think it is, go dress like a homeless person this weekend. Go waddle around in the mud and go dress like a homeless person and walk around this weekend and see how much differently you get treated. That seems extreme to some guys image not ego image and ego are two different things and here's the thing any guy that relates image to ego is really fishing for a problem you know what most guys know what I'm talking about you know good that's what really gets this discussion twisted up when, when someone conflates the argument means I'm talking about image and they start talking about fronting or about talking about your appearance and you talking about you know good and doggone people know good and doggone well what we're talking about they just don't want to hear it it's like well I don't want to deal with that and that's really what it is a lot of us 
don't want to deal with the reality that look you have to dress the part you need to look like you're about business to have business happen whether it's personal or professional if you were going to go look for a defense attorney you wouldn't hire someone that did not look the part so rather than debate whether or not you think let's get real whether or not whether than debating whether or not you think it's right you think it's fair you think it's superficial you think it's you know selling out whatever just deal with the reality the rules are there you know it exists and the guys I want to talk to are the ones that understand look your image is important use it and as a tool to get what you want you know Better to get to the other side of success, make it, and then debate whether or not it's important. Then sit down debating, oh, I don't, it ain't that important. Why waste my time and waste my money? Okay. It's not a waste of time. It's not a waste of money. You just got to manage your image and handle it correctly. That's, and here's the thing. A lot of us weren't taught this. A lot of us were taught that dressing, you know, especially if you came from the Bible Belt, you were taught that image is vanity image is sinful and we got all this cultural programming to overcome so while other guys or other people realize you know what image is important and crucial just as important as education and knowledge and everything else is the other part of the pie I mean it goes hand in hand it's not as a, as important or less important it all goes hand in hand so a lot of times guys are going into a fight with one hand tied behind your back and one eye blindfolded versus going in fully armed. I'm trying to arm a lot of guys saying, you know what? Quality is better than quantity. Fit is better than brand or fashion. None of this stuff is controversial. Manage your image and don't let your image, manage your image or deal with the outcomes. If you want to walk around sagging, you know, dressing, a stereotypical way or a way that doesn't really communicate who you are or what you're trying to accomplish cool but don't get upset with the outcomes the outcomes are going to be the way they are there are rules the world works according to rules you have them. even the die-hard people who say uh, it ain't me I don't, I'm not like that I'm better than I'm more elevated in my thinking okay well go dress like a homeless person like I say prove it to yourself but overall, guys, understand this. The problem most guys have with image, and it's because we weren't taught, we don't understand it, and people in general, men in particular, things we don't understand or things that we don't know, we tend to shun them versus trying to understand them. Doesn't matter if you shun it, it still affects you. It's like people, I'm giving you one example. It's like the people who say, you know what? all politicians are crooked Republican Democrat independent whatever I'm not into politics I don't vote okay but you still live in the land controlled by the laws again you somebody just asked well I spend hundred fifty dollars on a basic t-shirt wrong question you're, you're talking about cost talk about value that's where a lot of guys get hung up you worry about the cost. None of the questions are about value or what you're getting. It's all about how much it costs. We don't think about value. Minister Jap made a, a video the other day talking about how some people have a currency exchange mindset. We worry about the price tag versus what we're getting. So instead of asking me when I spend $150 for a basic t-shirt, that is a loaded question. You've already said it's a basic t-shirt and $150. Tell me what you're getting for $150. Tell me what the shirt is made out of. Tell me how does it fit and how does it fit into your image. Again, you, you're, you're, you're making the point. Value, yes, but a t-shirt, no. Again, you're talking about the actual t-shirt. You're not talking about the material, the fit, and your image. You're talking about this. You're saying, yeah, value is important, but I'm not going to spend that much money for a rag. You don't know what this rag is made out of. You just assume one rag is like any other rag. And that's the problem. We just assume everything is like the other thing. A shoe that looks this way is like a shoe that looks this way. That's why this, 
why cheap shoemakers are getting guys for money. And who came on my channel the other day? O'Shea was talking about it. How he bought a $60 pair of shoes that look really nice and look like the $400 pair of shoes, but then he wore them. And inside of four months, they're cracking, tearing up. And he's like, man, now I gotta go out and replace them. Those cheap shoes are the most expensive thing you know. Instead of debating the cost, understand the point. But a lot of times, I'm just gonna go in, dudes just wanna be right. You just wanna be right. You don't wanna understand what's going on. You wanna come on and say, you're wrong. That doesn't make sense. I'm good the way I am. Then, due respect, this isn't the channel for you. This isn't the this isn't the, this isn't the stuff for you. The channel is for people who want to use their image to get better, not people who want to prove that they know what they're doing already. You don't come to a channel that's a how-to channel, a how to install a. a I, again, you're talking about cost. He says I have a lot of expensive things, sir. You're getting butt hurt. No one's talking about cost. You're talking about cost. You're talking about cost. Again, I'm not going to answer any more of your, your questions because you're not asking anything. You're talking about cost. I'm talking about value and what you get. Tell me what you're, instead of asking me these questions, you want to debate, call in tonight. I'll tell you what, you can call in tonight since you have lots of expensive things. Who said anything about what cost means? Just because you spend a lot of money on something doesn't mean it's necessarily a better quality. I can go get a $3,000 Armani suit and line it up with a $700 Talia suit, and Talia is better quality than the Armani. You're equating cost with brand. You're making my points. That's the whole thing. And instead of listening to what I'm saying, you're dead set on being right. I'm not trying to... There's, and my point is, there's no helping someone who's already got their mind made up. So to everyone who is interested in learning how to become the best versions of themselves, I am willing to put this knowledge out here. What a lot of other channels don't do, they'll just drop a video and leave. Product pitching, move on. I put it out there, I have live streams. This information I'm giving you, you would normally have to pay for. And instead of realizing that, you know what? I'm getting some value here, let me try to learn something. A lot of times people are rather debate versus saying, hmm, this isn't a debate channel. This is not an open platform for what you want to talk about. If you have a question, I will answer the question. But if you want to just rant and go on and talk about how you're right and I'm wrong, you need to go to another channel. I'm not trying to be rude, but this is not your platform. This is a platform for me to help men become the best versions of themselves. I'm not going to, I, and that requires me telling the truth, giving you insider knowledge and information. Unless you want to sit up and build, and if you want to, you know, you wouldn't hire me to be your consultant, pay my fee, and then argue with the results. I'm done. You wouldn't, no, no different than you would go to your doctor and have him tell him your symptoms. Tell him your issues and then he, yeah, your opinion. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. The difference between your opinion and mine is I, my, my opinion is a professional opinion. I do this for a living. You put clothes on your back, granted, they may be expensive clothes or not, whatever, that does not qualify you as a professional. Unless you're making, you know, and you think this is an opinion. No, it's not an opinion. Your opinion and my opinion aren't equal weight. It's no different than saying because you watch Law and Order or because you know attorneys or because you've gone to court that you're qualified to be someone's counsel. That's the problem with interaction like this. No, there's no reason to say, okay, so you know it's correct. So what I'm saying is, guys, a lot of the, a lot of the problems we have with our image is because we know everything. That's why a lot of fashion channels don't go live stream. You know, you look in the comment section and the people in the comment section tend to be people who are not looking for information. They got a point to prove. People who tend to send emails or say thank you or want help tend not to ask any questions in the comments. So overall, guys, if you really want to use your image to your advantage, if you really want to use your image as a tool to get what you want, 
You're going to have to put what you think to the side and let someone come in and talk to you about what they know. And then if you don't agree, cool. Do you. Do you. But ultimately, it comes down to this. Seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inside of seven seconds of meeting or seeing someone, inside of seven seconds, someone seeing you or meeting you for the first time, they make 11 different assumptions about you. Those assumptions stick. They will not change without a lot of effort and work. If you are getting all of the outcomes you want in life, if you're as successful as you want to be, you're earning as much as you want, you're, you're, you're where your career is, you, where you, you know what it means. If you're where you want to be, we can disagree. I don't think asking someone to look at another channel is cool. No, we can't disagree. We can disagree without being disagreeable. You're not disagreeing with anything I've said. You're arguing. You have an opinion that's not based on anything but your opinion. And when I try to educate you, you keep asking questions. Quite honestly, I'm going to say something. That's kind of like how women act. A man can, you can ask a man something and he answers you. And instead of saying, okay, you want to question his, you want to question his answer with another question. And there's never an end to it. It's just ongoing dialogue. Look, bottom line is you have an image. Everyone has an image, not just the commenter. Everyone has an image. Use it to your advantage. Most people don't. Most people don't. And the people that do get the outcomes that go with it. The people that don't get the outcomes that go with that. The guys I'm trying to work with are the guys that don't realize how important their image is and then want to do something about it. Then, then understand, man, just by making a tweak here or a tweak there, my outcomes are so much better. That's why when you go to a job interview, go out to a nightclub, whatever, the guy that comes in looking a certain way tends to get treated a certain way. And, you know, they get whatever. And we've all been there. You, you know who they are. You know, you go into a job interview, 10 candidates are lined up, then somebody comes in looking a certain way. You're like, dang, there's no way I can compete with that. Well, how do you know? You lost on the image battle. But if you go in being the best version of you, there's just no downside to that. And there's no counter argument to that. So ultimately, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. In general, men suffer from not knowing. A lot of times we don't know. Brothers in particular, we love to argue and start shit. I don't mind that. But what's not going to happen is you're not going to come onto the channel and argue like, you, you can ask questions. I, I answer questions. You, I dare you to find any other channel that goes out and answers as many questions or as engaged as I am. But what you're not going to do is come onto the channel and debate me. And, ult and debate me from a point of you've already got your mind made up. You just got a point to prove. That's not this. That's not this. I will answer your questions, but you're going to have to have an, an end point to that question. And the guys who are looking for answers, here's one thing I will say is I will look for guys who have actually gone to channels, fashion channels, whatever, and started changing things. You know, you'll send me an email saying how this channel has helped you, how you tweak this, tweak that. I invite you guys to write that kind of stuff in the comment section because it it will have more credibility than just coming from me. See, a lot of times people as a youth, a lot of times as YouTubers or, or, or someone with a public persona, people get fixated on the messenger instead of the message. You know, they're worried about whether they like me or don't like me, whether they like my style, don't like my style, whether they agree with what I'm saying or don't agree, but it doesn't really matter if I say fit is better than fashion. Value, I mean, quality is better than quantity. You never debate, they never disagree with the facts. It's always the fluff. Your, your channel has helped me a lot with hate. I don't know what that means. Um, here's the thing. I will say this directly to brothers. Honestly, the reality out there is 
I have gotten more doors open for me that have been traditionally closed based upon my appearance. My appearance. I dress the way I dress for me. I have a brand. You have a brand. Everyone has a brand. What do people say about you when you leave the room? That is your brand. That is your image. That is your reputation. It, there's no two ways about it. Your question is, is it working for you or is it not? Is it getting you the outcomes you want? Is it not? Can it get you better outcomes? The people I want to work with are the people who understand they have a brand and they want and they want to tweak it or the ones that are getting their eyes or, or waking up saying, man, I didn't know I had a brand, but how can I use it to make me better? There's 20% of the people out there, you're never going to be able to help. But I can say this, and I'm going to wrap up until tonight. I noticed that even other YouTubers that I've talked to, I've worked with, everyone's kind of, you can see people are starting to dress better or, or take their image more seriously because here's the thing, whether you agree with me or not, like my presentation or channel or not, the world is a cruel place, the market decides, and no one's going to, if you don't look the part, you're not even going to get to the next level. You can see a woman, the woman of your dreams, if you aren't carrying yourself in a certain way, you're not going to even get to the point to where she can see what kind of great person you are. You're not going to get there. You can walk, you can be eminently qualified for a position. You could have all the credentials and it could be your turn, but if you do not look the part, you're not going to even get an opportunity. You know that. And instead of being upset that that's the reality, accept it. Use it to your advantage. Men do that. Some guys have a harder time with it than others. Well, here's the thing. Until you accept those realities, you're going to get the outcomes you want. And that's really what this is about. Accept either outcome. It doesn't matter uh, to anyone other than you. When you go to bed at night, you live with your positive and negative outcomes. Till the next time, talk to you later.